I hope all of you are doing well. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we're looking at the factoring technique, the step-by-step -step procedure which occurs behind the scenes for you to handle something like this, factoring something like this, x to the power of an even number plus y to the power of even number, where I'm abbreviating the even numbers are multiples only of 2, which means you'll be looking at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 onwards. You can even, as an exception, have multiple of 1. You can. But you can even, in terms of exceptions, even have multiples of like 1 or 2, 1 or 3, where the number is actually that. You can, but generally it focuses in on this, but you can apply to exponents which are of this form as well. Anyhow, why do we have to learn this technique? Because in high school you learn, particularly you can do something like this. There are even numbers which have a minus. Here we have that positive sign which creates a difference. x to the 4 minus y to the 4, you know how to do all of these, they're easy. But when you put a positive sign over here, then you think back to the time in high school where you were taught you don't factor something like this because there's a positive sign here, but you can factor it. And I will show you how you factor it. Again, particularly 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, but you can also use it for 1. You can also use it for individual exponents, which are perhaps not even even, and they may not even be sole multiples of 2. They could be multiples of other number. This technique is quite versatile. In this video, we're focusing only on this example, x to the 4 plus y to the power of 4. And I'll show you step-by-step -step procedure as to how you'll do it. What are your steps? Your first step would be this. You take that even exponent, and I'm going to use an e as my capital. You divide it by 2, and then you write it in this form. You square it. You'll do your even exponent, divide it by 2, and you'll square it. But if you were to open it up, the 2 and the 2 would cancel out. You'd end up exactly where you are. But that's the first step x here 4 over 2 to the power of 2 plus y 4 over 2 to the power of 2 then this transforms here as this x square square plus y square square the reason why you do these certain number of steps is because this right here template will transform into a different type of template hence these steps are necessary i have x square square y square square which is equal to that step number two you look at these internal items right here these are my internal items. You put them in a product relationship. You multiply x to the power of e over 2 times y to the power of e over 2. Again, the reason behind this will become evident soon. What are my internal items in a product? x square, y square. Step number 3. Double them. Multiply them by 2. 2x two to the power of e over 2 and y e over 2. The reason why you're doubling them, you can think about something like a square plus b square plus 2ab or a square plus b square minus 2ab always have this doubling term this doubling term is something similar to something like this it's a doubling factor that's all what it is if you doubled it over here you gotta double it here and we're good that's step number three step number four this item right here must be brought into a square root and the reason for that will become momentarily evident just bear with patience i've done that i'm going to do this Sometimes you can simplify this and you can. You can take these out as x, y, root 2. If you can simplify it, simplify it and circle this term. You have three terms of importance. Term number 1, number 2, number 3. 1, 2, and 3. These are your three important terms. The reason why you have to follow these steps in a step-by-step -step manner is because this entire template has to transform into this. a squared minus b squared. Where a and b can have their own internal exponents, but you must have an exponent 2. Here are your a terms right here and here is your b term look at the a terms they have an internal exponent but outside there is an external exponent the external exponent must be a 2 this even number must be reduced down to a 2 hence these procedures are taken and this further transforms into a minus b into a plus b rewrite these terms which you set aside into this form first and you will do it it will be x square plus y square whole square minus b square which is x y root 2 whole square here's my a square minus b square and we're good you're only one step away from determining the factors and that's this step right here you write it into this form and that right here will be your answer here are my a terms here's my b term and write it a minus b it will be x square plus y square minus x y root 2 here's my a minus b now let's do a plus b x square plus y square plus x y root 2 a minus b times a plus b and we're done a minus b times a plus b and we're done and these are our factors if you were to open this up x square multiply by that y square with that this with that 
everything will cancel out except for the x to the power 4 and y to the power 4 which will remain and they will prove and check that your factors are indeed good again these steps are needed in a step-by-step -step manner to convert this form into this form right here you convert this form into this form and you lay everything out with your a and your b terms and you are good a minus b a plus b and we're done this is your a square minus b square and this is your other item right over here and that brings us to the end of this video Thank you for watching.